Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today we're gonna to be talking about the new Elf and J. Kissa collab. I am super excited about this collaboration. I've had this for a few days in my possession and I haven't been able to play with it because I've been super sick. I just went to Chicago, which the Chicago vlog should be either already up or up soon. Um, I just went to Chicago and on the last day I got really sick and I had like a head cold, pukey situation going on and it was not fun. So I did get these the day that I got back from Chicago and have been sick. So we're finally gonna play with them. I unfortunately did not get the vault. Uh, it was sold out by the time I got there. So the, I did buy the pieces individually, but it did also come with this really cute card. So I'm gonna read this to you. I think it's super cute. It says, Elf XJ Kissa. Hi, this collab is a dream come true for me and means so much to me. I hope this inspires you to create and have fun with makeup. I know you'll rock it. Smiley face. I can't wait to see your creation. Love, Jay Kessa. So I just thought that was super, super cute. And it is a three-piece collection. By the way, if you feel like I'm rushing this video, I do apologize, but I'm on my lunch break right now. So I'm gonna try to film three videos on, in an hour lunch break. But yeah, it comes with three pieces, a mascara, eyeliner, and eyeshadow palette. The first thing we're gonna play with is the eyeliner, actually. I do like to line my eyes before I do my eyeshadow. I know that's probably a little weird, but so it says colorful eyeliner can really take a look to the next level. This shade is perfect for balance between navy and bright blue, and it looks great with many different eye colors. That's her little note for this. Um, so the whole collection was $23 for the three pieces. You could buy the collection together, which was also $23. This is a retractable gel eyeliner. It is blue. The packaging has super cute stuff. It's got like 23, a little diamond, a rose, a lipstick, that kind of thing. Does this have a name? I don't think it has a name, which is weird. Okay, no name. So that's what this looks like though. And then we'll go ahead and open this. It definitely is retractable, the little point sticking out there. Uh, there we go, okay. And then it's got that same design on the packaging too. Oh yeah, that's really creamy actually. That's pretty, you can actually use this on the top of your eye too, I feel, because it is such a fine point. Obviously it is going to dull down once you start using it, but still. Okay, I'm putting this in the waterline. It is definitely very blue. I'm gonna try to make this as wearable as possible because I am going back to work, obviously. That's pretty. It's not tugging. It's kind of gliding on and it is staying in the waterline nicely so far. Yeah, it's not making my eyes water at all, which is nice. Okay, that is a win so far from me. <laughs> I do like this eyeliner quite a lot, actually. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the eyeshadow palette. Um, it looks like this. You do get six regular shades and then one bigger shade that I believe is supposed to be like a highlight. Um, this says, this palette is the perfect mix of everyday neutrals and fun pops of color. Each shade stems from a different aspect of my life and I hope you can feel the love that went into it. If you don't know who J. Kessa is, um, she's a cruelty-free YouTuber, which is amazing. Um, I love that, she's super sweet. I mean, I don't personally know her, but she seems really sweet on her channel and she's very into colorful looks. So I'm not surprised that this is colorful, which I'm super here for. Um, this is what the palette looks like. It's got that same design. It's very sleek, very matte. You can feel the lettering on there, like it is raised a little bit. And then the back of the packaging is so cute. It's got like a bunch of little symbols. So the names are on the back of the palette here, and then they are on the back of the carton as well. Okay, so I do have one complaint. I hate palettes that don't like open all the way. This does stop here. That's fine, but it's just not going to be my favorite for that reason. And then it does come with a little dual-sided brush, which is so cool for an e.l.f. palette. I've never really seen that. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch these. This first, like, purpley shade is called Danger. Like that, pretty. This lime green color, which I'm super into, is called Alien. Looks like that right there. This, like, terracotta color is called My Moon. Like that, super pretty. And we have like this lilac purpley shade. Um, ooh, that's pretty, it's like iridescent almost. That one is called Sway. Then we have this color called Mac and Cheese, which is just a true Mac and Cheese color. Pop that right there, pretty. Then we have this like tan color called BFF. It's almost got like a 
yellowy undertone to it. And then the last shade we have is this highlight shade called 23. Which looks like that. Ooh, that is very pretty. I like the highlight shade a lot. Okay, so I do kind of just want to jump right into this and play with it because, like I said, I do have to go soon. So I'm going to use the brush that it came with. And I'm going to pick up BFF, that tan color, on this fluffier side. There's quite a bit of kickback in the palette. That's fine. And I'm going to tap that off and put that in the crease. Mm, right off the bat, I don't love this brush. I feel like it's almost a little too flimsy. But then again, it's a very cheap palette and it comes with a brush, so I'm not going to knock it too much. This is a very pretty shade though. Also, yes, I know my eyebrows are crazy right now. I really need to pluck them. But like I said, I've been sick and lazy. And now I'm on my lunch break and don't have time, so I promise I will do them, like, probably tonight or maybe tomorrow. But they'll get done. Don't worry. Okay, so I actually really like the shade. It's blending very nicely. Now I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go in with that mac and cheese color. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. And put that in the crease as well. Ooh, that's pretty. Definitely deep into the crease quite a bit. I almost want to keep this like pretty neutral. Hmm. No, we're all right. Okay, we're gonna go in. I'm gonna use this other side, and I'm gonna try to use that on the like lilacy purple shade, and see if that works. I'm not really sure this part's designed to do this. And I'm gonna pop this like in the inner part of the lid. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay. These are like superly, superly, super effortless is what I meant to say there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with that magenta color, which is called Danger. The lilac purple shade is called Sway. And I'm just going to start where I ended with Sway and add this onto the center of the lid and pull it out towards the outer corner. Yeah, this is a really easy, quick little look. Okay, and then I'm going to just take, uh, no, I'm going to take a new brush now. And I'm going to, it's a fluffy brush, I'm going to go into that mac and cheese color again. And just kind of like run it between the two purples. Just very lightly to blend them out. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go into my moon. And put this on the outer corner and blend it into the crease, kind of making all of the shades blend together. It's kind of a rust shade. It's really pretty. This one has a little bit of fallout though. I had my mirror in front of my face the whole time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, this look took like 30 seconds and it's so cute. I actually really like this palette a lot. I'm gonna be honest, like my, I'm going to take this little brush again and go into my moon and run that along the lower lash line. But I'm going to be honest, I didn't have like super high hopes for this just because it's like a, it's an elf palette. It's not like super high end or anything, but it's really pretty. Like I wasn't like, oh my god, it's going to be terrible, but I wasn't like expecting it to be this effortless and this pretty. So this does have those purple shades on it still, so it is mixing a little bit with my moon. Making kind of like a magenta -y shade, which is what I wanted to happen, so that's good. Just like that. And then I am going to take another brush. Uh, let's use this like pencil brush, and I'm going to go into BFF and run that along the lower lash line as well, just to kind of mute it a little bit. Okay. Super pretty, that was really easy, really effortless. I'm gonna blend this outer corner a little bit. I think it looks nice. It's not like anything too extremely out of the ordinary. I'm gonna go in with this purple again, sway a little bit right there. It's not like something that's like mind blowing, oh my goodness, but it is really pretty and really nice, especially for the drugstore, and especially for as cheap as it is. It doesn't feel cheap 
or look cheap, which I really appreciate. It does have quite a bit of fallout, but that's fine. Now for the last color, I am going to pick up another like flat brush and I'm going to go into 23, the highlight shade. I'm going to pop that in the inner corner and on the brow bone. It's really pretty. Yeah, I really like this highlight a lot. This is going to be like a super easy travel palette if you're into color. Or even if you're not, you can just use these two, like three neutral shades there and be fine. Those three, the red rust color, the orange, and the mac and cheese color, and be good to go. Okay, so I like this palette. <laughs> now the part that I'm like super iffy about that I'm not super excited about is this mascara. Um, I don't have like a great history with e.l.f. mascaras, which is why I'm so hesitant towards this one, but it is kind of a cool idea. So this is a perfect brown mascara that flatters any daytime look and makes your eye color pop. It was something that was missing from my makeup collection and I hope you fall in love with it too. Cheers, Kessa. Um, brown mascara isn't something that I use often, but it's something that I'm definitely down to try. I do have green eyes, so brown mascara is going to be really good for that. It's going to make them pop a lot more, but here's the mascara. Super cute. It has the same design that all the other stuff has, and it just says brown on it. So let's see. Point the one out. Yeah, it's definitely very brown. <laughs> but let's just let's just go for it. I'm gonna kind of wipe off the excess. I feel like this would be pretty with this look too. Okay, so definitely giving it a brown tint. It is giving me quite a bit of volume though, which is great. Normally, I don't really care for e.l.f. mascaras, at least the few that I've tried. So this one doesn't feel clumpy or anything. Let's do the lower lash line. Yeah. Okay. I'm not hating it. It's definitely something unique that a YouTuber's created, and I love that a YouTuber's created a mascara because I don't really know of any other ones that have. And it especially excites me, excites me that it's a cruelty-free option. The tube is very messy. Like, just pulling it out is making a big mess. But that's fine. Okay, a little bit clumpier on this side so far. Maybe I needed to wipe off more. I like this. It's not bad. I think I still prefer probably a black mascara, honestly, but I don't hate this. That is something unique that you probably don't already have in your collection. I mean, a brown mascara is not something like revolutionary, but the shade I don't feel like I've seen before. So that's cool. Okay, I actually really like that. I did mess it up just a little bit. I'm gonna take, ow. <laughs> I'm gonna take a spoolie and kind of like spool that away after I try to knock my teeth out with it. Okay, and this is the completed look. I like it a lot. This was like a really easy to use palette. I feel like you can definitely do like a cute sunset eye. And this brown mascara, I don't hate it. It's not my favorite, not my first choice. I don't hate it. I do feel like I went a little too far down here with the under eye eyeshadow though. Other than that, I really like it. So this collection is definitely a win from me. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this or what other YouTuber collabs you guys want to see me try. And that is all I have for you guys today. I... Yeah, that's all I have to say. Don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on me trying any new products. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.